Hi, my name is Todd Zimmerman. I am the secretary for the School County Democrats and also the co-chair for Gary Wegman's campaign in Pennsylvania 9th Congressional District. We have adopted some goals for School County and we're working with area state representatives and state senators that are also running to create a strong ground game so that we can turn the Pennsylvania 9th Congressional District Blue as well as Pennsylvania. Schuylkill County adopted a broad goal to develop a strong ground game for that purpose. So first we need to register new voters. We also want to increase the turnout. And more importantly, to achieve those, we are trying to develop a strong grassroots level by attempting the following. First, each precinct should have a committee person and an assistant. Now, most counties have adopted the rules from the Pennsylvania Democratic State Committee, where they have a committee man and a committee woman. In school county, we only have a committee person and an assistant committee person. So it might be a little bit different in every area. So in that precinct, then there are two volunteers, but we would like to increase that to having five volunteers in each precinct. And I will show you how through Vote Builder, we can access more volunteers in each precinct. Um, but some of those volunteers could be a poll watcher, they could hand out material, they could make phone calls, they could canvas, et cetera. So again, the key is to have five volunteers in each precinct to develop that strong ground game. And then additionally, by having those volunteers they might be interested in joining local democratic clubs such as in school county we have an eastern school democratic club um, in berks county there's a kutztown area democratic club i know northern berks around hamburg does not have any right now but they're trying to re to create one so these are all different ways that we can grow the democratic party and part of that is by gaining access to vote builder either one of those committee persons any committee person i should say has the right to have access to vote builder um, some may be technologically challenged others may not be so this training is to show people the basics on vote builder let me go in here and share a different page Okay, so now you should see the main page of Vote Builder. Once you log in, um, first of all, if you are interested in an account with Vote Builder, contact your county Democratic Committee and they will find out who is the administrative person in the district to give you access. Each county is a little bit different. Some counties only allow you to see within, within what's in your precinct, or if you're a member of, let's say, a larger organization, if you're a president of a Democratic club, maybe you would have a little bit wider access. That is up to the county Democratic committee on determining that factor. So if you do not see this page on the left, you'll see main menu, click on main menu. And we're gonna show you a few different tools. For right now, we're going to show you how to create a list of Democratic voters in your precinct. So click on create a new list. And you're gonna see a lot of search criteria. So what I would like you to do is to first click on the star for home districts. That is going to put that to the top of the page. So click on that star. Okay, so that goes up there. You're also going to want to star party. Also scores and voting history. Okay, so now you're going to the top. 
you click on this little arrow and open up home districts. So this tutorial is for all of the ninth district. So if someone is in Berks County, they're gonna be selecting Berks. If you're in Carbon, you're gonna be selecting Carbon, et cetera. I am going to show you this example using Schuylkill County's list. When you click on the county, immediately below there, you will find precincts. So when you open it up, it is going to show you the precincts that you are allowed to view in that specific county. So obviously, if you are using Berks County, you are going to see different precinct names than what I'm going to show you. But for this tutorial, we're clicking on Schuylkill, and I'm going to scroll down to, um, let's say, Pine Grove Borough North Precinct. I want to go to an area where there are a number of Democrats. Hopefully, there are a number of Democrats here. So you go on there. You're collecting, selecting Schuylkill and then a precinct. Then for party, you open up that arrow, and you're going to select on a Democrat. Now, you could get a list for Democrats, Independents, and Republicans. It all depends what you want to do. But for this step, we're just going to find out the Democrats. So let's preview the results. There are 181 Democrats in that precinct. I'm going to show you how to create a list. So you click on Run Search, the green button. This has a lot of different um, areas to create and refine the list. What we're just going to do is create a list. So you click on print. And for report format, for just creating a list, these are generally walking lists that you would use to go around in your precinct, knock on people's doors and say, hi, my name is Todd Zimmerman. I am the committee person for this precinct. So this way you have everybody's addresses. Now, the way this is set up, you're gonna scroll down. So you put walking format for report format and contacted how by walk. And then you're gonna scroll down, see where it says sort order, county, precinct, street name, odd even. If you keep this set as is and then click on next, you're probably going to get 50 different pages. So each street odd numbers is going to be on one page. So let's say it's Main Street. You would have one page of odd numbers, one page of even numbers, and it takes up a lot of space. As a matter of fact, when we create lists now, we'll show you in another tutorial that we're going to use a service called Minivan so that you don't even have to print these lists. But these are for you to store on your computer. Maybe you wanna create your own paper list just for your own records. But um, what I suggest is to click on these check marks for page breaks to make them blank. And when you have them blank, you've created that list. And then it says your PDF file is being created. So click on my PDF files. And you here you see the top one, because I've done some before. It should be the latest one done. You click on download file. And you can see there are 16 pages. So there are, these are those 181 Democrats that you've selected. So you have their phone number their ages, there's a lot of information. I'm scrolling up a lot because I don't really want to give out a lot of that information on there. Um, now, so that is your list of the Democrats in your precinct. Again, if you want, you can add independents. Maybe you want to hand out material to independents, et cetera. So then you would just go back and do that step all over again. So again, county, Schuylkill, precinct. We're going to Pine Grove Borough 1. Again, you won't have that, but OK. 
Okay, and again, Democrats. So if, again, here's where if you want to have a full list of independents and Republicans, you just click on that and then hit run search. However, I'm gonna do something a little bit differently. Remember, we were talking about volunteers. You wanna find volunteers in your precinct that want to help turn PA blue and get rid of Donald Trump and Dan Muser. <clears throat> so we're going to click on scores. So this is another list we're doing. If you scroll down halfway through this, you're going to see three different categories for volunteer propensity. We want to find people that have a very high propensity to volunteer. I'm not sure how Vote Builder has determined this. Perhaps they have volunteered in the past and their information was uploaded to volunteer. Perhaps they have donated to candidates and that information is up here. So you're going to type 90 to 100. So you want somebody with a high score. So you do that for all three categories, 90 to 100. Now remember, there were 181 Democrats in this precinct. Now we are checking those 181. How many of those have a score between 90 to 100? So you click on run search again. <coughs> Excuse me. The number is 24. Those are 24 people you might know. These might be neighbors in your precinct. Maybe you don't know them, but you might want to knock on the door. What I have actually done, I've printed a letter. I've introduced myself to them, telling them who I am, um, if they need a, an, an absentee ballot or a mail-in ballot, or perhaps they need registration information. If they have any questions, contact me. I am their committee person. I try to knock on their doors. All committee persons shouldn't just send letters, but knock on their doors <coughs> and get to know the people in their area, especially these core 24 people because they might be able to be those volunteers. Remember, our goal is to have five volunteers in each precinct, an active committee person or two committee persons, and then three other volunteers. So you click on print. Again, here it's already stored because you've already done this. So it's walking for format and then walk. You scroll down again, you're not going to keep those page breaks. Then click on next. It's going to say a new PDF file has been created. So you click, click on the PDF file, download file. And now you have a list of those 24 names. So these are the people that you want to contact to become possible volunteers. Does everybody understand that? So one great thing about a tutorial, if you don't get it the first time, you can just pause this and then keep going back until you have it. Okay, now let's do another item. Suppose you are working on a campaign. And we're going to do another, create a new list. Suppose you're working on a campaign. And you want to see who the so-called super Democrats are. This is a little bit more than the volunteer list that we just created. <clears throat> a lot of the super Democrats are people that vote in the primary. So we're going to find out who these people are. So again, you click on county, the precinct. So we're going to stay with that same precinct, Pine Grove Borough North, for those 181 Democrats. We're going to click on Democrat. <coughs> and then we're going to skip scores for now. And by the way, you can, if you do that, you can just click on this and it will, that whole menu will disappear. We're going to click on voting history. So include anyone who did, you want to say all of the following. Let's see who voted 
in the 2018 primary. So you click on 2018 by primary, who voted as Democrats, okay? So you can run that search. Now remember, there were 181 Democrats originally in this district. So how many of them voted? Forty-six. So if you are doing, if you are a candidate and you are doing a postcard campaign to get out the vote for Democrats in the primary, this is the group that you're going to focus on because those are people that have voted in the primary. Now you can go back into that section and you could look at who voted in the general election you, you have a lot of different options i'm just showing you one so I'll, I'll do this again just so you can kind of see how this goes but again here you can print same format before let's walk walk let's click out all these check marks next pdf files and by the way on these lists, you can actually upload this information into um, a mailing list. So that way, rather than handwriting these, you could create labels. But rather than creating address labels, sometimes it's really better to handwrite them. People might throw them out if they see that it's a, uh, a printed label. If you handwrite it, there's more reason for people to open it. So anyway, there is uh, that list for that. So let me show you some other options. Let's go back to main menu. Create a new list. County precinct. So I think just by redundancy, everyone will learn how to do these first few steps. Democrats. Now, let's say you want to know, um, let's say at least you need to, they need to do at least two of the following, right? So maybe you're going to go down and select the 2000, 2018, and the 2017 primary. So we're trying to broaden the field, perhaps. Some of those 48 people did not vote in the 2018 primary, but maybe they voted in the 2017 and the 2019. So we're casting a little bit of a wider net. So let's see how many people there are. There were 48 before. So there's 50. Not that many different, but you get an idea that these are the so-called super Democrats who voted in the primary. And you can do this if you want to if you're a candidate and you want to see how many super Republicans there were, you could kind of do the same thing. But again, this is to get volunteers. These are the people that you can depend on. These are faithful Democrats that you can uh, depend on on your precinct. Okay, one last tutorial. We're going to go back to the main menu. Recently, um, I've had people contact me to um gain a mail-in ballot so if somebody gives me their name how do i know what their address is how would i know what party affiliation they are you know what if someone is a republican and democrats believe in fair elections so if a, if a republican wants um, a mail-in ballot or whatever i'm going to give that to them because we believe in democracy we're democrats but we also believe in that small d democracy so Here's a way that you can find out information on a specific voter. I'm going to use my name. So Zimmerman Todd, okay? I could have just put my address in and it would have found my name. So if you don't know a person's name and you know their address, you can just put their address in and then search and a name will come up. So here you can see, there are supply, 
surprisingly, three different um, Todd Zimmermans in Schuylkill County. So hopefully they look better than I do. So you would click on my name or the name that you're searching. And in there, it will give my phone number, my mailing address, that's fine. But then you can click on all this different information on that person. So you can look at demographics, perhaps different things that they filled out on the, 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 um, the census. Sometimes people will call, for example, at Democratic headquarters, and they, maybe they moved to the area, and they want to know their polling location. So you can pull, put up that person's name, click on their name, then click on polling location, and it's going to say, this is where you're supposed to vote at St. Peter's Church, and then the address, okay? So that's that. There is also, again, districts. So it will say that I am Congressional District 9, I'm in State Senate 29, State House 124. I'm in uh, Tamaq area. This is my precinct, West Penn 2. So all this different information is here. So you can click on all this different information and um, you know get information on that voter if you need it. Or perhaps that voter might want to know, hey, I filled out a registration, but I don't know, am I registered? Well, if you click on their name, and it shows up here, then yes, they're registered. If not, then I would give them another registration ballot or have them go online uh, to do that. So I hope this was, this was useful. These are basics. We will also be providing some tutorials on cutting turf on how you canvas, uh, but that will be in a future lesson. So again, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, you can reply to my email. Thank you very much and have a great day.